What is up, guys? Matt Wick here, and we are back. NHL 24 testing the draft. As you can see, we are here at the draft in 2025, and the uh, Canadian uh, streak has been broken of not winning the Stanley Cup. The Montreal Canadiens are your Stanley Cup champions. I believe they defeated the Colorado Avalanche in, uh, I want to say, six games? Yeah, six games, so four to two. Uh, after they beat the uh, Tur oh no, they beat Tampa Bay and, and seven Toronto, and then the Rangers who eliminated us, and then they got all the way and won the Stanley Cup this time. Uh, didn't get didn't get bested. They uh, they came back for a vengeance, which is a little surprising. It's a little ahead of schedule for them, but good for them. Uh, it's also a little surprising once we get here into the draft. They actually traded with Calgary at some point. I have to go back and look and see if I can find what the trade was. Um, but they got Calgary's first round pick and somehow Calgary has the first overall pick. So I don't know what happened, um, but Calgary has the first overall pick and Montreal traded for Calgary's pick during this year. I'm not so sure if that's something that's like been in uh, in in the case. I'm not sure if maybe that's the uh, what who Sean Monahan trade. Um, I can't remember who who got him. I think Calgary got him. Um, can't remember off the top of my head. But anyway, Calgary won the Stanley Cup and they get to pick third overall. So it's going to be interesting to see if they can grab a player that will fit their lineup now. Um, let's see, where did we end up? So we're 25th, um, and there are some good prospects here in this draft. I did take a look, and there are uh, some, some interesting guys late. There's also some goalies that are pretty highly rated. Hopefully I can snag one of them, even though our goalie prospect uh, pool is pretty, pretty deep, but you can never have too many uh, because you never know how long it takes those guys to develop. But let's go ahead, sim this first pick, see who goes number one overall to the Calgary Flames. Uh, 84 overall medium elite. Holy shit, that's one of the highest players I've ever seen come out uh, overall wise in the draft. Matt Johansson, Johansson probably, uh, 18 years old, 84 overall. Wow, look at that shot, 93s all around. Holy crap, this guy's stats are insane. He's only an 84 overall. Wow, we are real, and he has tons of superstar. So whoever told me that superstar abilities develop is a fucking liar. Uh, because our guy has never had any, he still doesn't have any superstar abilities, whereas this guy comes out of the draft, he has four. Holy shit. Elite rush defending, great breakaway finishes, great off-balance shots, great pass reception. Wow. So Calgary got themselves a stud. I think this is this is equivalent probably to Connor Bedard coming out, uh, only he's not a, uh, he's a power forward too. That might hurt him a little bit, actually, being a power forward. Um, but geez, even the poise at 75, that is absolutely insane. This has to be a created player. Uh, that's nuts. Let's see who goes second overall. It's going to be tough to follow that up, but let's go ahead. Arizona Coyotes. Who do we have here? What is going on with the, is this how these drafts are supposed to be? 83 overall Ludwig Grossman. And I promise I have everything set to medium, medium. Uh, maybe I need to set it to low, low because 17 years of age and they get an 83 overall guy. Another insane shot. 92s and a 93 there. Holy crap. An elite edges shock and off. So those are some great uh, great abilities there for a, uh, a goal-scoring sniper right winger, Ludwig Grossman. Uh, wow. <laughs> so quite the two picks. Let's see. Stanley Cup champion Montreal Canadiens. Who do they get with their third pick here? Okay, they take Michael Misa, 76 overall. So he's supposed to be the big stud in this draft. But, uh, I mean, he's, he's a little bit outshined by those first two guys. And, yeah, I mean, you look at the stats. I mean, they're good, and you'd be happy with that if that's your uh, 30, uh, third overall pick in a draft. But seeing the first two guys, you might feel a little bit left out because these guys are absolute studs. Um, let's go ahead here and see the Dallas Stars, who they get. Uh, some dude named Gavin. Jordan Gavin. He doesn't look very happy in his picture. He looks a little bit pissed off. Looks a little bit like Rempy uh, there in that picture. Definitely doesn't have the height on him, though. But a very good shot on him. Uh, discipline's pretty good. That's pretty surprising, actually, for a uh, actual player um that his stats look like that but that's that's pretty cool there let's see who the islanders get here they want to give up the pick but i just kind of want to stay where i am for this draft and they do get sergey malkin so maybe this is uh, evgeny malkin's long lost son i think there's actually another guy in this draft who's like vitali malkin so we're gonna have a couple malkins running around the league uh haven't really seen any ovechkins yet i don't think maybe there was one in the first draft uh, but a good pick there by uh, the Islanders. We'll see when these uh, picks start start letting out because this is insane. The, the level of talent coming out of these drafts. Uh, but Brett Cam beats. Uh, we have here a decent pick. No uh, no abilities for him, but a, a two way defender, seventeen years old, seventy seven overall, medium elite. Ain't gonna be too upset there. 
Uh, okay, the medium elites keep on rolling out with uh, Chicago. They get a defensive defenseman there. Decent stats. Defensive stats are very good. Uh, you'd like the physicals maybe to be a little bit higher, but he's only 18 years of age. Let's see who the Flyers get. Hopefully it's bust. Ooh, they do not. They actually get Roger McQueen, 6'5 center. Wow, that's going to be a great... He had 75 assists and 45 goals playing in the uh, Canadian Junior Leagues. Wow. Or maybe it was USA Development. And he has Crease Crasher. Whoa, that's big time for a six foot five guy. Uh, so he he's definitely a flyer. 90 discipline as well, so that's interesting. We'll see what he gets up to. Uh, but definitely a draft class to remember here so far. Uh, hopefully we can pull it off. Another medium elite here. I'm not going to click into every guy. Uh, pretty much once we get to done with the medium elites, uh, I'll skip ahead to our pick. And there we go, right there. Uh, with the, what was that, the 10th pick of... Uh, St. Louis Blues kind of get uh, kind of get just oh, five foot seven center, and he comes out medium top six. Ooh, so you take the chance on the shorter guy. Uh, doesn't really work out too well for you. Let's just see what the Winnipeg Jets get here. Sixty five overall. Okay, so maybe a good pick. We'll see if anybody's left here. Ooh, seventy four overall. Matthias Nordgren. Uh, good stats, good shooting, good puck skills. Uh, I mean, yeah, pretty ba pretty well balanced all the way around. He could probably uh. Make a nice impact in the AHL day one. But let's go ahead, pick to uh, get to pick 25, and then we'll go back through. Ooh, I think this might have been the guy I wanted to take, which sucks that he got taken two picks ahead of us. I wasn't even looking. Oh, that sucks. Uh, let's see, though, 61 overall, 64, 74 low elite Blake Clarkson. I don't think this actually was the guy. I think there's another guy that I was interested in. He had a, uh, a Finnish name, I think. We got Ale Alexander Gonchar there. Uh, nice, nice... Uh, addition with Malkin and Gonchar coming in the league. Uh, what do we got here? Top nine, top six, top six. Medium elite. Ooh, this was one of the goalies I was talking about. Gabriel Daigle, which, uh, I mean, he's he's a real player, so we'll see what he comes out as. Columbus grabs another top-tier goalie prospect. See if they can uh, develop him to make him a stud. Uh, let's see. Top six, top six, top six. 71 overall. 75. Wow, not bad there for, Colorado, for the uh, Avalanche. Uh, and then let's go ahead and make our pick since we're all caught up now. What do we got? Who was the guy I was looking at? I mean, also this guy I saw this Emiliano Tanaka. Uh, interesting name there. He's got good skill assessment. Let me see if I can find the guy I was thinking of. I don't think Clarkson was him. Maybe it was Emiliano. Top four, medium top four. Yeah, it might have been him. Six foot four, defensive defenseman, good stats. So he's going to come out ready to go. There was somebody else. Oh, wait, here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kimo Lati. Uh, no weaknesses. He's a gem one uh, year away. As you can see, those uh, skill assessments, he's rocking it. So let's go ahead. I'm going to take him just because we already have so many uh, defenders. Maybe I'll see if we can trade up uh, and grab Emiliano, even though I think this is a pretty deep class. We did a good uh, job scouting as well. So let's go ahead and grab him. Medium top six, 73 overall grinder. Ooh, okay. That's pretty interesting. Uh, physicals, I mean, you, I mean, they're not bad. What is he, six foot left wing? 85 body checking. That's another thing I have to do in this game as well is turn up the checking because the hitting is terrible in NHL 24. They ruined it. Absolutely ruined it. Uh, but let's go ahead, sim the rest of the round, and then go back and take a look at the end of that first round, see who got taken. 67 medium top four. Did talk. Oh, Emilio Tanaka got picked 75 overall. Any abilities? No. But a good-looking player there. I mean, fuck, man. You can't go wrong with some of these guys in this draft. Uh, except for the uh, the Ducks there. 60 overall, medium, top six. Oof. What a, ter what a terrible pick. Sorry, Isaiah Hillis, if you're a real person. EA did you dirty. <laughs> Russell Simmons. What do we got here? Defensive defenseman. Okay, not bad there. Low elite. Uh, ooh, 60 overall, medium, top nine. Okay, so our picks there pretty good. Uh, let's go ahead, second round here. What do we got, the 24th pick? I think we have two picks in the second round. Let's take a look. Uh, we are at 24, no, oh, 24 and 33. That's uh, our expansion pick there. So let's see, real quick, I want to see, is there anybody that would be worth trading up one of these two picks to get? Ooh, it might be this guy. What do we have? Uh, medium elite possibility. He is a Jemmy. Uh, good stats. At least for the skill assessment. Was there anything else? Let's see. This guy's not bad. Luka Radovucic. Radovucic. Something like that. Um, Bill Zonin. 
Uh, good stats there. We don't have him fully scouted, but no weaknesses, so that is good. But, I mean, we've been seeing that on a lot of players, that's, uh, to be fair. Um, yeah, maybe we trade up for that pick. I think there was also a goalie that was a little bit lower as well that I was kind of interested in, too. Let me see this guy. Ooh, okay, six foot four. Does care about winning. Hmm. When's he projected? He's projected 51, so he might, ah, uh, he might be there whenever we get our first pick. Was there, where's that goalie? There's Kasavi. I think he's, this guy's a real player as well. Um, but there was a goalie somewhere. I don't think he got picked yet. Um, might have passed him. Let's go back up and see. Hmm. Where's the goalie? Oh, here he is. Pierce Seabrook. I think about him. There's another guy. No, it's not him. There was another goalie. Let me see if I can scalp on my or sort by my pin and see what I can find here. Oof. Um, where is this guy? He was he had A pluses uh, in his stats. Where did I miss the goalies? Uh, Yoshimura. No, great name though. Tootin. Yeah, it was Gustav's Tootin. Yeah, I want to grab this guy. Um, okay, it's not our pick. I saw 34 seconds there at the top of the clock, and I was like, oh, come on, man. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead. We'll sim their pick, though, see who they get. Okay, so they did not take... Okay, so what we'll have to do... Fuck, I kind of want to... I kind of want that guy, Schaefer, but then there's some other... Ah, what do I do? What do I do? They passed on him. We have two Jemmies here that are available. I see his, like, his skill assessment's not that good. But a lefty, righty, possibly medium elite, 17 years old too. So even if he comes out like a top four, I'm not going to be too upset about it. Um, Mark Howe. To be honest, I don't even know who that is. <laughs> um, but let me see. So, so ah, Tootin was there. Yeah. Um, let's just leave it. We're not going to take him. We're, we're going to let's see where he goes. See if it's a bad, uh, bad move by us. Ooh. Okay. So if he gets to four, I will trade up for him and take him, but I don't think he's getting past Calgary here again. Yeah, he doesn't. Okay. And 67 overall medium top four. It's fine. It's fine. We'll find another player like that. I'm sure. So let's go ahead. Sim to our pick number 57. Who's to oh, Tootin got taken, but it's fine. Six, four, 17 years old. Damn. That would have been perfect. 73 overall goaltender. Fuck, I should, I should have looked more into it to see what he was going to get picked. Uh, Tatar got taken as well. 65 overall that I miss. Top four low. Looking for any medium elites or low elites that got taken here. Medium elite, the goalie got taken. 58 overall, but fuck, man, I'd rather have uh, Tootin. That's for sure. Um, so nothing too crazy. All right, let's go ahead and make our pick. What do we got here? Uh, we got the Cassivi guy that I was kind of interested in. He doesn't look like he's going to be ready for a couple years, but he is a confirmed medium top nine. Let's go ahead and look at some skill assessments to see what we've got. Um, yeah, I'm not really seeing a whole lot that I'm super, super drawn in by. Uh, maybe this, or is it, did I see an A somewhere? No. Yeah, so I mean, we we maybe should have traded up. That was that, that that's a mistake on my part. Uh, I'm not really liking what I'm seeing down here so far. And the top guys that we wanted were already picked. Uh, is there anybody that's around this pick that we could grab that we were looking at? Tiro Alane Alanin, maybe uh for the next pick. But for this one, I'll probably just take a CV. Um, because it's still a little early to jump for him. Green, no, yeah, Kasivi's probably going to be my pick just because I had him already scouted. Brady Martin? Eh, eh we'll pass on him. Uh, medium, he's kind of, uh, low top six, but we can wait on him. 133, we don't need to rush. Um, let's grab Kasivi. I think I had him before, and if he's a sniper, center sniper, I think, I think that'll uh, be a good fit on our team. So let's go ahead and grab him. What does he come out to be? 62 overall. Medium top nine, so really uh, a so-so pick there. Not nothing too crazy. Hopefully he develops. He's got a decent shot already, so hopefully that uh, by the time he's like 21, 22, uh, gets a little bit better there. Pick number 66. Let's go. Anything here? No, nothing too crazy. We didn't miss on anything. Martin got picked there. 65 overall. Okay, so then this might be the norm of what we start seeing here unless we can find a guy that's an absolute stud. Uh, an absolute stud muffin. Let's see what we've got. Timothy Tarasov. Um, 
Per Lundstrom might not be bad, but I think I'm going to go with this guy just because we had him scouted 6'2 left wing, 17 years of age. Got a lot of time left to develop. Uh, let me look at these guys that the uh, the scouts say. Now, Angelo Chichu, cool name, but let's go with Taro Alanen. Uh, what, did, what, what did he come out as? Oh, well, we have an early pick here in the third. Uh, damn, so we really should have traded these two picks away. I needed to be better on top of that. A low top six, 64 overall. So it kind of fits in with the rest. They're not really a steal or anything like that. Decent shot. Uh, let's go ahead and see who gets picked in front of us here. Did we miss out on anybody? Anybody crazy? No. Okay. So everything's uh, still pretty chalk. Let me go ahead and sort by potentials and see what we've got left. Okay. So we got some uh, Tom Edwards. Oh, shifting the chair around here. Top six, five, eight. A little bit short. Decent sniper, though. Only 16 goals. You'd like to see a little bit more than that. Um, we got some low elites, but we're still a little bit of ways from reaching for them. Also, 69th pick. Nice. Didn't even try to set that up. <laughs> um, hmm. Per Lundstrom. I've been looking at him a couple times. I think I'm going to pull the trigger on him. I mean, those skill assessments are pretty decent. 18 years old. Let's go ahead and grab him before someone else does, and then I regret it. But comes out same as <laughs> pretty much everybody else. 64 overall. Low top sticks. Uh, no ability, 69th pick though, so very nice. Hopefully he lives up to that. Let's go a couple picks after us. New York Islanders, a lot of picks here late in the second and third rounds. Uh, let's see, yeah, it's it's looking pretty dead after a very, very top-heavy uh, part of the start of this draft. Uh, we're starting to really trail off here. Oh, there we go, meeting elite. Oh, Jake Lau, I was looking at this guy too. Damn, what a steal here. Carolina having themselves a draft and a half. Center playmaker, 5'9", 18 years of age, medium elite, so he's going to grow like a weed. Oh, we had a pick coming up here, so he might have been listed there for us. So we got a couple here in the third. And again, definitely should have traded up. That's on me, not uh, looking at the trade uh, trades beforehand and just seeing kind of what picks we had available to us. No, I do not want to make a trade. Let's go ahead, Sim. Vegas, who are you going to take? Terrible pick. Terrible pick, Vegas. Go ahead and trade him, just like the rest of your draft picks. He's never going to see the league. Um, Let's see. What do we got? Ethan Weir. Yeah, I'm just not... I, I, I went through and scouted, but it looks like our scouts really didn't do too good of a job for us. Um, Aiden Lamb. Uh, uh, uh. We got a lot of busts. Do we have any... Uh, What's this guy? Albert Bohinski. Decent, but I mean, I've been fooled before. Per Lundstrom had a couple, and he uh, he really didn't turn out to be anything special. Looks like all we have left are busts. Kibble White, that's a cool name. Uh, let's go ahead and sort here by pin. Do I have any guys that are around this pick that I'd be interested in grabbing up? Tiny Pit, I mean, this is a little bit early for him. 7th D, he is like one of the top names in this entire draft, though. Cash Cock, we will definitely grab him with our 7th round pick. Um... I mean, I can wait on him for another one because I have another pick coming up late. Let's take a look. Central scouting. Who do we have ranked top? I'll trust the scouts. They say this guy's a low top nine forward. Confirmed. Oh, wait, what did I do? Okay, I think we're good. <laughs> I thought my pick got skipped. I was like, did I really take that much fucking time? Oh, uh, but looks like we're good. Okay, so let's see. Um, Low top nine, low top nine. Do we have anybody who's like teasing? be a little bit higher than that looks like our usa scouts did really well as well because these guys are all ones who are confirmed are all us us guys so good job to our usa scouts really uh really zoned in there and did a good job scouting for us everybody else you let us down you could have done a lot better yeah see another usa scout jesus christ maybe there just weren't any guys <laughs> um 20 years old this it's too early for him i can't do it yet um plus we have another pick i think unless i'm uh, that my brain is that fried from uh from this week <laughs> um let's see damn i don't know there's there's no like i said nobody's really stepping out to me let's go with peyton turco marty Sir, marty turco's son uh how uh, 20 years old though i'd really rather not grab a 20 year old at this point in the draft let's go ahead and get uh desmond strachan uh just because he's supposed to be the same potential probably going to come out to a similar overall uh, but he's two years younger, so it gives him a little bit more development. Let's see. Uh, was this? No, it was Turco. Turco was the guy we were looking at. No, do not auto-draft. <laughs> I do not want to see what the results of that turn out to be. Uh, but I do want to see what Turco turns out to be, and if there's anybody else that we missed out on. 
Hopefully nobody touches our tiny pit. He is ours. Don't even think about it. Um, Turco's still on the board. Do we grab him here at the 85th? Hmm. He's coming up. Oh, but see, there's another 18-year-old right behind him, Walker Emmerich. Same potential. Uh, so really no point in, in risking it there. Let's go ahead and grab Will Walker Emmerich. Confirmed low top nine. I mean, we're just loading up with these guys. 18 years old, so hopefully we'll see. They develop. Uh, taking a lot of shots here, so hopefully one of them hits. Um, 58. Do we have any other picks in this round? No, we do not. I'm getting kind of nervous. I don't want to lose out on Tiny Pit. Let's go ahead. Ooh, wait. When's, when's Tiny Pit supposed to go? I cannot lose out on him. I already lost out on a couple things that I wanted because I wasn't paying enough attention and just trying to skip through. Where's Pit? He's that low? Okay. 118. Where was our pick? 115. Ooh, this is risking it. I swear to God, if he gets taken, this might be the end of the video. I might just might just skip the whole rest of the draft. Uh, let's go ahead, call quick time out. Take a look back through, see what everybody got. See what Turco came out to be. So it looks like Tiny Pit is still available, so no worries there. Medium top nine, Safranov for LA. Good pick. Another medium top nine for the Flyers, so they're studding it up with a couple guys. Low elite. We have here Christian Turnbull, 19 years of age. No uh, abilities, but a good pick nonetheless. Uh, anybody else? Let's see the last half of this round. I want to see what Turco came out to be. He came out to be like a 50, 60. Ooh, low elite there. Two low elites here. Howells and Bates. Uh, defensive defenseman and two-way defender. So a lot of late round pick. Oh, wait, three? Three all bad. Uh, the hat trick of low elites, 56. So this one looks like the best top. Tomas Erzberg uh, comes out there. Solid little pick. No uh, no abilities for any of them, but uh, low elites cannot complain about that. Uh, did I miss Turco? Where's Turco at? There he is. 60 overall. Yeah, so he's pretty much the same as our guys. They'll uh, be better than him in a couple years because our development is so elite. Yeah, see, three overall and he's two years younger. Definitely not worth it. Uh, but let's go ahead. Tiny Pit is still on the board. He's begging for us to draft him. Uh, where is he at? Oof, I was gonna say, don't where's more is my tiny pit? Uh get on my team, tiny pit. 20 years of age. Come on, be elite. Oh, 70, 59 overall. We'll see if he makes it. I'm gonna I'm gonna push for him to try to get in the league because uh as an all-time team name. Uh we really uh we really want to foster the growth of some of those guys. Um so let's go ahead and pick 166. I'm actually gonna go here as well, offer trade because I want to see how many picks that we have, because it's been a while after that playoff run, which was absolutely insane. As you can see there, uh, Brian Patrick up to an 85 overall medium franchise. Guy's a stud. Still no abilities, though. So like I said, you guys fucking lied to me. Do not appreciate that. Um, but nonetheless, and then Peyton Krebs, too. I think he started out 78 overall for us two years ago. Absolute beast. 88 overall. Bonafide top, uh, top forward. Uh, great season for us. And we'll see. I mean, putting him between uh, giving him Patrick Kane and Jason Zucker out there, I guess, was the play because he uh, he shot up like a cannon. Uh, so it's very nice to have him. Why Johnson didn't grow. So hopefully off season, he gets some development and comes back better, but, uh, it's, it's nice to have at least one, one hit, but I didn't even check the draft picks, which I wanted to. <laughs> so let's see what we got. Okay. So this is our last pick in the draft. Uh, so we really got to play this, uh, play this close. Let me go ahead. Seventh round, grab this last pick here. I'm probably going to trade. Like I said, I just haven't been hitting this draft. So let's go ahead, let's trade this pick. There's nobody that I'm really, really interested in. And let's see if we can maybe grab, can we grab a fifth? A fifth in this seventh? Close. Close but no cigar. Can we get a sixth and a seventh? A sixth next year for sixth this year and the seventh, the last pick. They do not even want to do that. Holy cow, what about two sevenths? Come on, Montreal, you guys won the cup. What do you need a seventh round, two seventh round picks for? We're letting you move up a little bit, just take it. Holy shit, guys, come on. <laughs> so are we just moving just straight back? Like we, we can't even can't even get a little bit of draft capital. They don't even want to give up just another seventh. Uh what if we do like a fifth? And this is gonna be like the hardest trade I've I've ever made. A fifth and a seventh. So a seventh and a sixth for a seventh and a fifth. Trade accepted. Okay. Fair deal, guys. <laughs> Uh, don't really know if we came out on top on that one, but let's see who Montreal gets with the pick. Uh, oh, they got Vitaly Malkin, uh, another guy I was looking at, um, 70, 
56 overall. We'll see if he makes it. We have a couple Malkins in the league, but let's go ahead to this last pick. We'll call a quick timeout, go through these last couple rounds, and then make our pick of, uh, of our all-name boy Cash Cock and see what he's got. Medium backup, 47 overall there. Uh, yeah, we got a lot of AHL guys coming out. Trying not to miss any low elites that pop up, but don't want to make a 60-minute, uh, hour-long video <laughs> for you guys. So let's go ahead and see. Ooh, low top four. Carolina, again, great draft. Uh, want to hire a couple of their scouts away from them. That'd be cool if you could uh, go into teams that have great drafts and poach their uh, poach their scouts away from them. <laughs> That'd make for a little bit of uh, excitement there. So let's see. Anybody else? Seventh D. Ooh, an enforcer. You don't see a lot of those anymore in this game. A rare breed for sure. 86 strength. All right, so we'll see. He's a he's definitely a, a flyer. Uh, what's his name? Uh, what was it? Malachi Neuendijk. <laughs> We'll see. How big was he? What's his size? 6'1", 214. Okay, good size there for an 18-year-old. Um, Anything else? Oh, here was... I thought his name was Early, but it was Elliot Lee. So Early's son. Uh, he's from past GM modes. I think I can't remember which year. Maybe, uh, what, three years ago? We had a guy that name. So let's see. Anybody else? No. Unless I'm missing him, which is very possible. I'm sure I'll see in the comments. I missed a couple low elites. Uh, but let's go ahead and make our pick. Oh, who we got here? Xavier Daigle. We got Corbin Wood. But none of them can stack up to our boy, Cashcock. Okay, a couple of them still left. Uh, Braden Panky? No. Panky Panky. We don't want that stanky. We want our Cashcock. Get on my team. Uh, someone told me, I, actually, I think I looked it up, he is real too. Uh, 59 overall. Hey, not bad for, I think he's 18, 17 years old. So a decent little draft there. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. A hell of a top loaded draft uh, we saw on this one. Made, big Fell off big time. I thought we were going to see like 80s all the way into the fourth round with how that one started. But those two guys will have to follow their careers and see what they turn out to be. Um, like I said, hopefully get the GM mode series up. I know I've been saying it for like two weeks now. Uh, but hopefully work starts to slow down a little bit. Just been crazy. Uh, and just going to try to pump some videos out here maybe this weekend. Weather's nice here in Pittsburgh, though, so I'm going to get some golf in. Uh, so we'll see if I get any videos up. Pens play tonight at 10, so let's go Pens. But other than that, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a comment, like, and subscribe, and peace.